how you can't rely on just engagement for your social media posts. Can you open this? <laughs> it was a video about what I do all day as the boss, and it was a little bit of, well, that was a terrible pour. <laughs> Welcome to another Amity Digital Tipsy Marketing Tips. Hello, Brianna. Hi, Brian. Oh, what are you drinking today? Stateside Vodka Pineapple, which is not my favorite. What are you drinking? It's not my favorite either, because it's dumb. I can't get it open. It's the trend here. If you've been watching this video at all, is uh, bad choices on liquor from Brianna. I'm drinking Lawson's Finest liquids sip of sunshine it's kind of an old school a couple years ago not really that old but old for new england ipas new england ipa uh, it's very tasty and the brewery is super cool if you've never been to it we went up there and visited uh last year my wife and i it was very very cool place to hang out at what are we gonna talk about today how you can't rely on just engagement for your social media posts <laughs> there you go, Brianna. I cut my nails last night. They're too short to grab anything. Uh, well, so this this actually this topic came up because we recently did a video. It was kind of a what we hoped to be a funny video, um, and it was. I think I think people took it well. Um, mm -hmm. It was a video about what I do all day as the boss, and it was a little bit of. Well, that was a terrible pour. A little bit of making fun of myself um, and showcasing the team and all that they do. And, you know, go ahead and, and look that up. But what I found really interesting about it is it got, it got a, a lot of, you know, a decent number of shares, a decent number of likes, um, a decent number of comments. But way, 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 way more people that I've met have talked about how they loved it how they watched it multiple times, how they showed it to their friends and family. And these were all people I knew that had not liked it, not commented on it, not shared. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, what, like, what are the usual engagements that people typically look at to judge the success of a social media post? Um, likes, shares, comments. Um... And then for videos, you would throw in there. I mean, those are the most typical. And then for videos, you'd throw in there how much oh, of the how video was watched it, yeah. and and all that stuff. But um, we've always told our clients that you know you, you can't really base social media success on likes because you mm -hmm. know sometimes if you're a company that's offering you know sandblasting services, people people are going to like your post so many times. Yeah. But where the power of social media comes in is a, a video like that that we did that was on the funny side. Um, really, you know, I, I don't want to use the word viral because that's so overused that did not go viral in the sense of millions of people didn't see it. But thousands did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a lot of different networking and member and uh, community groups. And every one that I every meeting that I had the week that we released that video um, people came up to me and said, oh, I saw that video. It was so funny. And mm -hmm. I showed my wife or I showed my kids or whatever. Um, and none of them had liked it. Mm -hmm. So if you are judging based on just likes and shares, which are, are good things to look at, yeah. I think our point is just that it's it's not the total picture. So you know, yeah. what, are, what are some other things that people should be paying attention to? Well, I was going to say, kind of going off what you were saying is that across TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, that's one of our most viewed videos on Amity Digital. And I mean, it probably has the highest engagement too, I'd say, besides like some of our TikTok videos. But again, like people weren't liking and commenting like you were saying. So mm -hmm. I think maybe you can't rely just on views either. You can, you definitely have to, I, I, I definitely think there's the, you have to take that overall approach. Mm -hmm. You know, view, you know, and reach is kind of a misleading. Yeah one because Facebook in particular can count somebody as having been reached simply because it was in their feed as they were scrolling mm -hmm. by. It doesn't tell you that they were scrolling by at 90 miles an hour and didn't actually look at your content. Um, 
So I don't think any one, you know, none of those metrics alone tells the tale. But we find that so many people are so focused on, well, how many likes and comments did it get? And I think more and more we're finding, you know, as an agency that um, fewer and fewer people are engaging with Facebook yeah. posts. Fewer are just, they, they pop on, they look at it, they, you know, and... Um, people who used to engage, I, I don't know if the, the engaging part of it has just lost its luster because it's been yeah. there for so long. I did read that, yeah. Some people just don't really want to engage as much sometimes. Plus, yeah. if it's not really that relevant to them, if they keep liking it, they don't really want to see it. So they probably just stop liking it at that point too. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, the al- with, you know, with the way the algorithm works, the more you engage with it, the more posts you'll see like that. And I think people are hesitant to engage with anything yeah. for fear that you know they're going to be tracked, you know, whatever whatever the case may be. But I definitely have noticed that trend that, um, you know, less and less people react. I think the other thing to keep in mind is whether or not you're getting reach or engagement or uh, views or or whatever, um, a healthy posting schedule, so having constant good content being posted, Mm -hmm. is a sign of a healthy and active business. Yeah, plus people want to see what you do. Yeah. Especially like like Giant Robo is really helpful because with like our sister company, the print shop, it, it's really easy to just go on and see like, oh, they did this service, they do this and that. Like, because mm-hmm. for that service, people really want to see what you're doing. Right. It's very visual. Yeah. Yeah. But I think even if like you're picking a new restaurant, what's the first thing yeah. you do before you go there? I mean, maybe, maybe it's Google reviews, mm-hmm. but if it's not Google reviews, what do you look at? Yeah. Or like even like location, like geotagging, people want to, like I know like sometimes if I... I'm going to like a new city or something like I'll go and like look at the location and see like what people have been up to when they're there Mm -hmm. or just like things that might be fun to do. Right. But if you're going to go to that restaurant, you're going to probably also go to their Facebook page. Yeah. And you might be hesitant to go if the last review they got was 12 months ago and Mm -hmm. the last thing they posted was a menu update, you know, nine months ago. Mm -hmm. Restaurants, you know. You, you're, they're not going to get tons of engagement on a daily basis of like, oh, yet another meal from this restaurant. But as a new person exploring whether you want to go to that place, it's important that the content in your own personal feed is fresh because the people that are thinking about going there are going to look at it. And none of them are going to like those posts. They're just going to mm-hmm. look at it. Same thing with any service provider. If you're going to hire you know, a hardscaper or a you know, landscaping company that does hardscaping and you want to put a new patio in, you know, they can pitch all you, they want. You're, you're going to go to their Facebook mm-hmm. or their Instagram and you're going to try to look for pictures of patios that they've done. Yeah. And if they're not posted, if the last patio they did was 13 months ago, uh, according to Facebook, you're going to be a little less hesitant than, hey, look, every three days they're posting pictures. And who knows if that's a recent project or just past work. Um, but the idea is, you know, an active, healthy social media profile what would Lend- you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. It lends itself to the idea that it's a healthy, active business. What would you consider to be like healthy and active then for like Facebook or Instagram? It depends on the company, but three to you know anywhere from three to five posts a week at a minimum. Yeah, we do about like three to five yeah. more for the print shop usually, but yeah, the print shop's so visual, and we're we're producing con- the you know the content we mm-hmm. produce for the print shop is the product that we're printing on, so we yeah. we have so much stuff to show off, but. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it makes a big difference. And Amity Digital now, we're taking like a more video approach kind of and more of a personal approach lately mm-hmm. and informative, I guess, too, because we were posting informative graphics before, but we kind of decided that people aren't going to sit there and read that little text and then like the caption, it's just not that engaging. Yeah, video is definitely um, you know where most of this stuff has gone to, but mm-hmm. um, people are far more interested in watching a video than looking at a graphic. Yeah. Uh, but those are still important, especially mm-hmm. if it's... I would say the posts that make the most sense for pictures mm-hmm. are the ones that are showcasing your work rather than, you know, if we're going to give a marketing tip, I'd rather, even if it's a 10 seconds, jump on and give it yeah. in a video format. If we're going to show a website we designed, then mm-hmm. images work great for that. So every industry and company is a little different, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. I just thought it was really interesting. You know, I've always known that that you know that those uh, 
couple of those metrics are vanity metrics and you really have to deep dive into seeing how well did the post actually do yeah. and Facebook insights and Instagram has their own analytics like all, all these social media platforms have their own uh, analytics and way of analyzing how well your posts do um, but it just really hit home because that video did well for us but I was surprised at just how many people have told me they, they watched it and loved it. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I had one guy tell me uh, just last night that he loved it. He's watched it four times already uh, and that he's uh, sent it to all of his kids to watch and they watched it. And not a single one of them yeah. liked, commented or, or uh, engaged with the post at all. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's all we got this week from Amity Digital. Uh, if you'd like to see more, I was waiting for Brianna to say something, but she dropped the ball. We're going to link to the oh, original video, too, so you can see what we're talking about. And if you like it, like it. That's right. Yeah, because, you know, it is a vanity metric, and I'm very vain, and I want to see that. Yeah, he wants to be the highest viewed yes. person on all of our social platforms. Yes. Yes. Not Harrison, our old intern that no longer works here. <laughs> <coughs> I got to beat him. You did, I think. Finally. Yeah. Uh, his grocery shopping video was beating me forever. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned next week. Hopefully we'll have another video out. Uh, we're going to do more and more of these. The tipsy marketing tip should be every week. So like and subscribe and we'll uh, see you next time. Until then, I'm going to finish my beer. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. look at that. Look at that ridiculous drink. Delicious. No, it's not. I don't like pineapple.